Hi everyone, welcome to Assassin's Week 3. I know y'all have been waiting for this video for a really long time. First off, if you haven't watched week 1 and week 2, definitely go watch that just so you know what's going on in this game. And honestly, just to go see how crazy it is that we actually made it to week 3. Week 3 is definitely different from week 1 and week 2 in many different ways. Um, One, just the way I was thinking of the game was a lot different. First off, I was really sick this week. I'm literally so sick. I don't feel good at all. And I don't get sick very often. Like, I was even skipping swim practice, which is kind of big for me. But I was skipping swim practice, but I was still going out and doing all these things, which was not good for my physical health. And then also, regarding my mental health, um, this game was consuming me. This is just the way I am. I'm not really good at handling intense situations and at this point it's been three weeks of just constantly thinking about this game. Like it's always in the back of my mind and it just takes a lot of energy and a lot of thoughts. Like during this week I would have nightmares. Like there was one night where I literally had a nightmare. I was sleeping and I wanted to get up to get water but I would not like my body would not let me get up and get water because I was scared if I left my bed that I would get shot in my own house. Like I was sleeping. I, I don't even know if that tells you how like not good I was doing. <laughs> and so that also is why it took me a long time to edit this video specifically because I was just, it just made me very anxious. I don't know. It's kind of, it's crazy how like crazy this game made me, but Anyways, the rules for this week are pretty much similar. One rule that really applies to this week is that you cannot shoot if a car is on. So when you're in a car that's on, someone can't like shoot into the car. And then also you can't like drive by and shoot someone in the car. This week there was, I heard, 16 teams. So we're really down to like the people who are really intense, really into it, or the people who just bought their way through. Um, we got assigned Brandon and Logan. We had actually kind of been already talking to them in week two. There was like some alliances going on there that I didn't really mention in the video because it didn't really develop. So we know where they live and they both don't park inside their garage. So we thought it'd be easy to get them outside their house. So that's that is where the footage starts. It's Tuesday. I usually get out of school at 12.30 and this day happened to be a half day at my school so everyone got out at 12.40 which means I got out at like 11.20 or something really early. So I was already out of school before Brandon got out and before most people got out and so I was waiting there at his house for him to come home and that's where this footage starts. Currently very thankful for trash day. I hope no one sees me. Hopefully he just pulls in straight to his driveway and I'm just gonna get him right there. I'm gonna run up, I'm gonna be good at shooting, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do it, I can do it, I know I can do it. I'm gonna get him right there if he pulls in. I don't know, a bunch of cars are passing, I'm scared. Brandon eventually came home and saw me, so then I just had a conversation with him as he sat in his turned on car. Mia came and picked me up and we left. He's literally just sitting there. He's gonna sit there for like 20 more minutes too because he's gonna think that we're like faking it. We went to go get her gas and then she drove me back to my car, which was still parked down the street from Brandon's house. I almost got out when I saw someone in a parked car. Mia's sister, Maggie, got out to go look to see who it was and this happened. So we obviously just leave my car and we go to Mia's house. So we're just hanging out and then Maggie and her mom leave her house. And as they're leaving, Drew and Aaron are outside of Mia's house. They thought Maggie was Mia again. So Maggie gets shot a second time. And now we know that they're outside of Mia's house. So we're like, shoot, like Mia eventually has to go to practice. I have to go back to my car at some point. Like we have to leave. So Drew and Aaron get back in their car and like kind of drive off. I honestly don't know if they didn't think we were in the house or like if they were just like circling back around, but we quickly grabbed all of our stuff and we sprinted to Mia's car. So that's what this clip is and that is why we're so out of breath. <laughs> so do we drive by them or should we? Uh -huh. Do we drive No, no, because they're gonna follow us wherever we're going. We don't so even know where we're going. Should I just speed off and go somewhere random right now? We can't go to my house. I don't want them to know where I live. I know, you know, they so probably know. We went through a drive through to kill time and found out that Drew and Aaron's assassins were Sophia and Juliana. So we were going to help them get them out. What are you? Yeah. Do you have Aaron and bro? What what's the thing you have? Perfect. Yay. Okay. Um okay, they were just I didn't know that. because they just tried to shoot us. <laughs> Mia drops me off at my car because Aaron's car wasn't there anymore. Aaron 
claimed he shot me, but I didn't feel any bullets and I jumped right into Mia's car and he didn't have a video, so we agreed that he didn't shoot me. I would have respected you from being right there, but I did not feel you get shot. But I continue talking to Aaron while Mia texts Juliana and Sophia. I've literally never tried so hard to keep a conversation going, but he didn't know we knew who his assassins were, so he wasn't expecting anything until Juliana ran up and shot him. Okay, so Aaron didn't shoot me, even though it was really, really close. Props to him. Like, yeah. Like, oh my god. We're still in. I don't know how we're gonna... I don't even know. Hopefully Drew can buy us out. But what if they both get shot, then we're not getting bought out. Wait, yeah, that's a good point. So do we stop helping Sophie and Juliana? I don't know. <laughs> this is so, so hard. Now that Erin was out, I was safe to get into my car. Mia left for practice and I went home. I slept <laughs> because I was sick. And then Mia came back and picked me up after her practice. So we're back together. So basically what just happened was we're sitting outside of Mia's house. We saw Drew and Erin's car. And so we called Sophia and then they came. So we're just sitting in here, like we're smarter than that. We My actually mom brought us dinner out to the we car. But it turns out they were sitting in, he was in the trash can. He brought his own trash can because you can't be in someone else's trash can. He pulled it onto my curb and was in the trash and can. And was just sitting there. He was just sitting there. So neither of us got that. Good job, Drew. I would not have that dedication. Good execution. Hopefully you guys buy us out for a lot because I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to keep drinking. Okay, I just dropped off Mia at Brandon's house. Um, Hopefully this works. I don't know, I just dropped her off. Like I'm literally just leaving so there's no chance he can see my car or anything. Mia was going to try to get Brandon when he got home from his baseball game, but he saw her and it didn't work. Mia said his parents just got home, so I I'm going to go rescue Mia right now. Oh my gosh. I just, oh, I hate this feeling. I hate it. Next, we went to Logan's house. We heard from their week one assassins that Logan's neighbor let them onto their property so it was easy to hide and shoot him. So we asked also. Yes? I think it's the wrong neighbor. They said no. I was like, so you might've been asked this before, but I just need permission. We're playing a game with the neighbor and she just goes, you can't shoot Logan. So is it the wrong neighbor? That house does that not house look like not anyone's home. home. Okay, get back in. We found out that Brandon and Logan are Tara and Ansley's assassins, which if you don't remember, they're from week one. We were gonna help them not get shot. The only thing is Tara and Ansley were shooting Sophia and Juliana. So it's kind of like our whole alliances were all mixed up because we were helping Tara and Ansley, but we also were helping Sophia and Juliana shoot Drew and Aaron. It was very complicated, but Ansley was going to youth group. A place of worship is considered a safe space Space, but the parking lot is not. Brandon and Logan were in the parking lot. Ansley was in youth group, so she was in the church, so she couldn't get shot during youth group, but she called us and said that they were waiting outside. So we get there when youth group begins. We were there for two hours while youth group was going on, and we were hiding from Brandon and Logan, and then they saw us, and like we were trying to shoot them, but they, they these are the clips. Okay, so Here's where we are. We are at a church parking lot. We've been here for about an hour. Drew was being serious with us. Sorry to interrupt the vlog again, but. I think so. Not sure. Ansley. No, he. Youth group. No, no clue where that is. Should you say, okay, Audrey and I are going to church anyways? Should oh. we say I'm going to see? We just tell everyone we have to go get our ashes. <laughs> it's as Wednesday. It's Ash Wednesday. And Audrey and I did go to church earlier. We went at six, but we've been telling everyone that we're at church <laughs> as an alibi. Also, why is Drew helping us? He's literally trying to shoot us. Wait, so yeah. suspicious. Because he was he was right. He said no, they're at youth group. Does that mean he's? They really come want here? us to get Brandon Logan. I know that. Are you sure though? But. They also probably really want to shoot us because then they don't have to buy us out. They're still here. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely, they're not leaving without Ansley. Can you see their car? Basically, what I was trying to tell y'all earlier is we had like a shootout and they think they froze Mia. I think I definitely shot Brandon. Brandon, I shot you. Why not? You were right there, and I was right here. Did you feel it? Are you sure? But we didn't have any of it on they video, just, and they're like, not going to their car us. off and then back on. But I have a good view from up here. Okay, good. They wanted us to get out of the car to see how many bullets were on the ground for proof we shot them, but it felt like a trap. Yeah, but Drew's here. Mia, don't get out of this car. At this point, we've been at the church for over an hour, and Mia's dad brought us dinner. Mia, they want us to go over and discuss us buying them out because he has baseball at 9.15. Is that stupid? 
stupid of us to do? I don't want to buy him out. Should we go tell him that? Hey. Should we say Pinky Promise? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> You're literally gonna get shot. Thank you so much. Promise. Long story short, Mia saw Logan get out of his car and ran to go shoot him, but Drew was hiding in a bush and shot her first. So Mia is officially out for this round. Drew shot me. <laughs> Okay, Thursday we didn't really go out. Mia was already out and I was so behind on school and stuff, I had to catch up. Throughout these whole three weeks, I was so behind on school. So I had to catch up at some point, so I stayed home, I slept and all that kind of stuff. So Friday, I had an awful day. <laughs> like, like not assassins related at all, I was just having a really bad day. And so after my swim practice, it was like seven o'clock, Mia was like, hey, I'm going to Griffin's lacrosse game, like let's just go, let's get your mind off of everything else that was happening. Happening. Me and I went to his lacrosse game, which was on a school campus, so I wasn't really worried about getting shot. Then after the lacrosse game, everyone goes to In N Out. So we drove to In N Out because we had to drop off Maggie and her friends. And then we we're debating whether or not we should go inside. We're at In N Out. Drew's partner is here, Aaron. Can we just go though? Do you not want to? Hi, Aaron. Hey friends, what? Whoa! Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I, didn't I mean can't to, shoot. I honestly did not mean to do that. Well, Is this for the vlog? Yeah, you're gonna be hey in the vlog. You're already in the vlog a little, I think. Hashtag vlog. <laughs> We're talking to Aaron. I'm in a moving car right now. I'm Listen, a turned on car. Turned on car. Sorry, not moving. <laughs> Audrey, have you ever heard the term "I got shooters"? You no. could be one of me and Drew's shooters. Oh. You could be like, yeah, no, I got so I'm killed. Just, I'm just the same person as Griffin, really. Is Griffin oh my god, one of I your thought shooters? you were gonna be Drew. Is Griffin one of your shooters? Oh. No. What do you mean? Oh, watch yourself. <laughs> okay, so we should. What? Come back. What? Maggie? <laughs> Maggie, tell me. Oh, Aaron's out. Oh, well, he can't shoot you anyway. Maggie, that's a jerk move. You <laughs> have to tell me. You can't shoot them anyway. Don't say anything. Oh. We'll, we'll... Come on, are you kidding me, Maggie? I didn't sign up for this tonight. <laughs> Hmm? You guys can talk to me. Aaron's running to go tell Brandon because Brandon's inside. I could have gone in there and shot him. It's not Assassin's Free. Wait, I want to see what Brandon does. He's leaving. We just made him leave. That's funny. I knew that if I left Mia's car and went inside in and out, I was going to get shot because Aaron was obviously going to call Drew. I didn't have a gun with me and I was so tired of this game. I had had a really bad day. I just wanted to go out in public and go to in and out Mia was already out. We had tried getting Logan and Brandon and it was really hard. Mia was also totally fine with me going inside and getting shot, so that is exactly what I did. Going out in the public. I'm out in public, shoot me. No, don't shoot, don't call anyone. Brandon's still here. Yeah, if I brought my gun, like a normal person playing assassins would. Oh, Aaron's right there. I'm definitely getting shot. It's over. I no. Yeah, just don't outside calling Drew for sure. <laughs> oh wait, we have an update. We have a messenger coming. She's sitting like a duck. Just like a duck sitting. <laughs> it's such a thing. <laughs> out of this game. I'm actually so glad I got shot when I did. Like the next day I went out to breakfast with my friends. Like I went bowling after a school dance that we had. Like I was going out in public on a day that wasn't Sunday. <laughs> it felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm really glad I got out when I did because the Godfathers actually extended week three for another week because not enough people had gotten out. So I would have had a whole other week of Mia being out and then also on top of that it was the second week of week three and then week four and then at the end of week four is when my county announced a shelter in place for COVID-19 so I would have literally been in like isolation for longer than I needed to but I'm really glad you all liked it I will try to put the rules down below I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that how I'm gonna link them but I will try my hardest and it will be fun if y'all start this tradition at your school again it's not technically 
directly affiliated with my school. My school doesn't support it because so many bad things can happen and like have happened. So it's not affiliated with the school. It's just a bunch of people from my school who get together and do it. I definitely had fun with it. I don't regret doing it at all, but I'm really glad that I got out when I did. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire game and I will see y'all in my next video. Brandon, what's their names? Why do I keep forgetting their names? <laughs> First, let's get run out first. Then you get paid. Guys, I need multiple camera angles. <laughs> Horizontal, please. Holy crap, it's freaking like, not Would you like to come inside the car? Well, wait, wait, I thought this was going to be car. Okay.